Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. What's up internet, Kevin here on TLD. Well the day has finally arrived and today marks the start of the next gen cycle for Sony with the release of the PS4. So last night we went to the midnight launch and grabbed one for ourselves so we can bring you guys an unboxing today. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So here we have it, the PlayStation 4, Sony's newest addition to its popular line of gaming consoles. Front side of the box we have the system itself, displayed tower-wise, with the controller in front of it. On the back we have little advertisements talking about why you should get PlayStation Plus, and showing off pictures of characters from Sony exclusive titles like Killzone Shadowfall, Knack, and Infamous Second Son. Interestingly enough, alongside third-party Ubisoft characters from Assassin's Creed 4 and Watch Dogs. Cutting Sony's seal from the top and laying the box down on its back, we can pop it open and reveal the system in all of its parts. So we're gonna make you wait just a little bit for the system by starting off with a few bits of paper. We have a couple of promotional deals from PSN including a 30-day PlayStation Plus trial, 30-day Music Unlimited trial, and $10 for PSN to help you get started online right away. Next up we have a pair of quick start manuals, one in English, the other in Spanish, as well as the user safety guide. Now for an actual piece of hardware we have the PS4 DualShock 4 controller, similar in a lot of ways to the DualShock 3, but featuring a redesigned, more ergonomic shape, as well as the touchpad on the front and lights on the top. From what little time I've spent with messing with it so far, it feels a lot more comfortable and a lot more natural to use compared to the DualShock 3. Now opening up this cardboard tray, we get all the little cables and minor accessories for the system. We have the micro USB cable used to connect, sync, and charge the controller. The C adapter using the same design as the one from the Slim PS3s. A little basic earpiece and mic to use for online play, which can now plug into the controller directly as opposed to a USB setup like on the PS3. And last but not least, an HDMI cable, which is now the only way to hook up your system for video. Now that we've got all that out of the way, we'll get to the main reason all of you clicked on this video, the PS4. Removing some cardboard, ripping off some plastic, and here it is. A simple design that's mostly matte with a gloss finish on the upper half of the top, sporting the PlayStation logo. On the front, we have the super thin power and eject buttons, and in between them the disc slot and a pair of USB ports. Taking a look at the back, we have numerous ports. Going from left to right, top to bottom, we have the optical out for audio hookups like if you want to use surround sound, HDMI out for sending video and audio to your TV, an ethernet port if you need a hardline connection to your internet, an auxiliary port for certain accessory attachments like the PlayStation camera, and last but not least, the input for the power cable. So let's go right ahead and hook this thing up. As you can see, we've got our little HDTV set up on the workspace, system's plugged in, we've already finished the basic setup routine of picking our language, setting the time, and connecting to the internet. Now we'd love to have a proper full tour of the interface and online functionality, but PSN isn't exactly happy with the launch day traffic. So instead, I'm just going to spend some time on Killzone, and over the next couple of days, once everything's up and running, I'll let you guys know my full thoughts on the system and its features. Now until then, if you want to try and grab a PS4 for yourself, it's a little difficult at the moment for pretty obvious reasons. Amazon has been seeing them in and out of stock, and if you want to try and grab one from them, check out the link we have posted in the description. And if you want to be kept up to date when they are in stock, make sure to follow us on Twitter on our main handle, at TLD Today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid, and if you did, please make sure to hit that like button to let us know. We'd really appreciate it. And before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Squarespace for making this video possible. Now, if you guys weren't aware, Squarespace is one of the quickest and easiest ways to build your own website. So if you've been looking to start your own tech or gaming blog, Squarespace has over 20 customizable templates to choose from with drag and drop functionality. It doesn't matter if you're viewing on your desktop, laptop, smartphone, or tablet, everything is optimized to look good automatically. Squarespace also features an awesome 24-7 support team based out of New York City, and pricing starts at just 8 bucks a month with a free domain if you sign up for a year. So if you guys enjoy the content we put out and have been wanting to create your own website, you can support the channel by using the offer code TLD11 at checkout for a free trial. No credit card required, and you'll get 10% off your order if you decide you like Squarespace and you want to keep using it. Aside from that, this is Kevin with TLD. If you guys have any questions about the PS4 that you want answered in our full review, please make sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure to become one because we got a lot of great PlayStation 4 and Xbox One coverage over the next couple weeks. Until then, I'm going to start losing myself in Killzone and work to bring you guys some more coverage soon. Mm -hmm.